Ah, Wind Waker. A true masterpiece for its time, ported to the Wii U with upgraded graphics and a few extras to help sort out those more repetitive parts of the gameplay. The story is about Link, as if that wasn't obvious, who lives on an island called Outset with his grandmother and his little sister Errol. Or... Ariel? I've heard it pronounced both ways. Uh, you know what? Just to avoid controversy, let's just call her Phil. Is. Anyway, one day, an enormous bird swoops in and carries poor little Phyllis off, prompting Link to hitch a ride with some pirates who begrudgingly decide to help him rescue her. The rescue attempt goes horribly wrong, however, and Link is sent flying into the ocean and left for dead. Link is then rescued by a talking boat called the King of Red Lions, who agrees to help him take another shot at saving his sister. This is an open-world adventure game, where you'll sail across the sea with the help of your talking sailboat, Red, and a magical conductor's baton called the Wind Waker, which allows you to control the direction of the wind. As you travel, you'll encounter rough weather, pirates, HOLY CRAP IT'S A SQUID! And of course, a wide variety of islands where most of your main and side questing will take place. The sailing aspect of the game can be good or bad depending on the person, but I'll talk about that later. Before you even start playing, you're given two control options, one with a gamepad, and the other with the Wii U Pro Controller. The gamepad works really well, as it allows you to arrange your equipment or look at your map without having to pause the game. As for the Pro Controller, well, I don't have one, so I don't know if it really works well or not. What I do know is that this guy has some serious moves. As mentioned earlier, this is a port of the original Wind Waker for the GameCube with updated graphics. And while the original version looked awesome and still holds its own today, I have to hand it to Nintendo for making it look even better. The only problem is, Link, as well as other characters, looks rather pasty whenever his face is lit up by a torch or some nearby light. It's not too big of a deal though, seeing as the rest of the game looks great. I have to stop here and mention that the combat in this game is so much fun. It uses a targeting system that's used in most other Zelda games, but for some reason it just flows so well in Wind Waker and is so satisfying. The music is nothing to sneeze at either. I mean, just listen to this. Now you might remember me mentioning that the sailing feature can be good or bad depending on the player. Some say it's repetitive and boring, which it can be, while others say it gives the game a good sense of adventure, which I personally think it does. But while I enjoyed the sailing aspect, it still slowed down the pace of the game quite a bit. To help remedy this, Nintendo added a swift sail, which lets you cruise through the water at twice the normal speed. There's also a fast travel system you can acquire later in the game, which is really helpful. But despite all this, sailing does tend to get a bit boring after a while. One feature about this game that I fell in love with was the letter in a bottle message system. If you're connected to the internet, you can write messages with the gamepad and send out in-game pictures that will appear in someone else's game. Contrary-wise, you can find letters and photos that other people have sent washed up onto various beaches or floating around in the ocean. This gave the game a sense of community, as it allows you to give or receive help from other players, or just write goofy messages. There is a lot to do in this game. Whether you're exploring the huge ocean in search of treasure, blowing all your cash in an auction, fighting monsters, or just annoying people in any way you can, you'll find you have lots to do no matter where you are. The boss battles were awesome, but they can be quite tough too. I remember the first boss in the game almost killed me when I fought him on the GameCube version back when I was, I don't know, 11? Each boss requires you to be clever with your equipment if you want to beat them, though that's pretty standard as far as the Zelda franchise is concerned. If you're a Zelda veteran like myself, you shouldn't have a very difficult time with this game. Other than a rather annoying scavenger hunt near the end, the game is pretty straightforward when it comes to finding your way and solving puzzles. That being said, if you're new to the Zelda franchise, it may take you a while to figure out what it is you need to do. 
The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD is, like its original, an awesome game. With monsters to fight, islands to explore, and treasures to be found, no one will be able to find you because you'll be too busy sailing the ocean in search of your next adventure. I give this game a 9 out of 10. Yes!